Hey everybody, I wanted to stop for a second today and just share some of the highlights in the last year. I've, I've really seen a major shift and transformation, not just with myself, but with the people I'm working with. People who have come stop in the, you know, have stopped in their tracks, people who've been through traumatic injuries, traumatic assault, primarily stroke, and watching them make their comebacks has just been outright amazing. And it's determination, it's about digging deep down inside and it's realizing, hey, I don't have a choice right now. I gotta get to work really to heal my body that's gonna heal my mind. And I'm watching the progress, I'm watching these things, these beautiful miracles happen to me all around me with everybody that's in my community and the amount of people who are making the comebacks from strokes has just been astonishing. I mean, even things and stuff that I had never even thought about, they're doing. They're regaining full function. They're regaining their ability to talk, to speak, to be reunited with, with, with their loved ones and just all of it. However, today I got a call that I lost one of my, one of my pals, one of my clients. And his wife called me and saying that, um, and that her husband passed away. And I've never experienced this before. And I just had to sit with it. And I wanted to, I wanted to share this with, with everybody here on video because part of what I'm doing is bringing people back and giving people happiness and creating a space of love and what I call bliss and just these magical moments of living life. However, though, my, my, my client, I call him my buddy, he died and it hurts. And I'm sad. However, his contract with God has now has now ended and now he's in a better place and that's when i'm going to stop and think for a second it's like okay we move we go we, we keep we, we keep wanting to accomplish all this stuff and even with people that have disabilities primarily strokes we're always looking for the next step or the next gain or the next win but you know what what if we stop for a second and just take a breath and go wait a second we've done a lot right now and we'll be, really be okay with who we are in this moment in time and that's what's so special to me because I look now back at, at my client and my pal who's no longer with me and I call him my pal. I've never met him. We, we've only met on Zoom and I know he's in a, a better place, but I miss him and I'm allowed to miss him. And I know the times that, that we had together were fun. There, there, were, there were some struggles, there were some challenges, but he stepped up to the plate. He met me where, where I needed him to be. I leaned into him. And together we brought some magical moments. And it's okay because, you know, one thing one thing that was guaranteed is that we're all gonna we're all gonna pass away sometime. It's just a matter of not if it's just when. And what I want everyone to start doing is just seize the moment. Seize the moment and appreciate where you're at right now because where, where you're at right now is such a perfect place in your life because you have it all. You're able to you're, you're able to breathe in, which is free. You're able to bring in that breath into your lungs, into your brain, into your body. It doesn't cost you anything. And these moments of just taking a breath and realizing, hey, you know, I still I still have a lot a lot more and a lot left. Even though we've all been through trauma in our lives, especially with strokes, you know, it's disabilitating. I get it. However, seize the moment. Carpe diem. And and everything's gonna be okay. And, and when the time comes for, for, for each of us, we'll be accepting of it, and our loved ones will, will miss us, and I get that. However, let's not think about that. Let's think about just being in the now, and really just take this moment, embrace yourself, love yourself, love, the, love those next to you, and stop thinking about all the, all the small, min, minimal stuff that really doesn't even matter. It's like when I, I teach some of my clients, like, who fucking cares about what's going on? on certain levels, no one, you don't really need to care about everything else that's gonna happen. Be right here with me, be in the present. Let's just keep moving forward. And, and then as we do that, miracles will happen. Things will be recreated. And when the time does come for us to move on, it's gonna be okay. Yeah. I can, I shall, I will.